Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a hanging water chicken feeder, water -a. And what you're going to need is a five gallon bucket, and a lid, and some nipples that you can buy online for the uh, chickens. So what I'll do is I'll um, put a link in my description to where you can buy all of these items, and you can see how much they are. Um, I happen to pick this bucket up at Home Depot. The lid was at Home Depot. And um, the little nipples that you put in the bottom of the bucket for the chicken was at a local uh, feed and grain store, but you can buy them online too. So look around online and I'll um, put a link to all the stuff for you guys and you can check out pricing. It's really inexpensive. You should be into the whole thing for about 15 bucks. Okay, so the other tools you'll need is you'll need a cordless drill and a couple of drill bits and like a shopping marker to help to determine the location on the bottom of your pail that you want to mark the uh, holes to drill the nipples. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mark off a couple of spots on the bottom of the bucket to drill uh, holes for the water of nipples. And all you got to really do is make it like a cross pattern. You don't have to get perfect with it. So I'm just going to mark a hole here. I'll make one over here. Put one over here, and like another one over here. So the directions on the package that I got for these uh, water nipples say to drill an eighth of an inch hole, like a pilot hole for us. So that's what I'm going to do. But you're going to want to read the hole, the direct the, uh, the directions on your package to see if they say the same thing. And then we have to step it up to a bigger bit to line deep the hole so we can get these in there. And as you can see, it goes through really easy, so just be careful. It's not hard to do at all. And just make sure like any little pieces of plastic or off any little burrs so you can screw the uh, nipples in and they sit flush. Okay, all these little nipples have a little gasket on them, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of Teflon tape. You can find it at any hardware store in the plumbing section. I'm just going to put a little tape on the threads so that when you thread these into the bucket, it'll help to um, prevent them from leaking. So all you do is put a little bit like that on all the uh, nipples that you're going to screw in. Okay, so once you've, you're done and you have uh, Teflon tape on all the threads on your nipples, you're going to screw them into the bottom of the bucket and they should thread in pretty easy for you. They'll catch by hand. I'm just going to press down a little bit. Screw them all the way in until they're bottomed out. The great thing about this is it holds a lot of water. So if you're going away for the weekend or something like that and you need to put your birds on autopilot, <laughs> we do that quite a bit. Um, definitely check out like our other videos that have the five gallon feeder and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, these guys have like a fresh supply of food and water all the time out there. But you can see how easy this is. It just screws right in, and it'll be done in a second. Just make sure they're all nice and snug and tight. We got one more. So I have six birds. So this should be plenty for the birds that I have. Um, so I'm almost done this. And I'll show you what it looks like in two seconds. So when you're done screwing it in, this is what it's going to look like on the bottom. And when it's hanging, all the little plunges will go and they'll block the flow of water. But when the birds come up underneath it, they can hit that and get a drink. So all you really need to do now is go outside. Um, fill your pail up with water 
And don't forget to put your lid in. It'll keep any kind of dust and dirt and contaminants out of it. And the breads will have a nice fresh uh, supply of water. And once that's done, um, you can hang it on the hook in the coop or whatever you're using to kind of hang the sling. Just hang it by the handle and the little guys that have, you know, water for a while and they can get a drink right out of the bottom of this. So I hope you liked the video. Um, please subscribe to our channel. We're always doing all kinds of great like home improvement stuff, things around the house, things that you would purchase. Um, our channel is like a pretty good mixed bag of products, you know, home repairs, little tips and tricks on how to accomplish things around the house. We have ATV stuff. So there's a lot going on. Thanks for watching.